the hexen is probably one of the most important things you can explain a new player. So I'm sure someone has done a video about it. See? Even the game developer has done one. Let's take a look at it. Oh wait, this is from Termina, not from the first game. Close, 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 close! <sighs> okay, so no one has made a video about it. So I'm gonna do it. This is how does the accent work and the god affinities. So, let's start to explain what does the accent do generally. It can be used to curse weapons, cursed weapons uh, which require lesser souls, deal more damage and also can be used to attack ghosts, which otherwise cannot be attacked except from some magics. And the other functionality is the ability to get in new skills for your main protagonist. The skills are divided into various categories. You can see there are some symbols on the right side of the categories on the accent and some words on the left side. The word categories are the classes of the characters. There is the dominating, the endless, the enlightened and the tormented. These correspond to specific characters, for example, the endless is the mercenary, the dominating is the knight, the enlightened is the dark priest and the tormented is the, the outlander. They cannot be changed in the game, so your protagonist, your main party member, which is the only one that can use the accent, can only gain the ability of his category. Except, of course, for the possibility of gaining those skills from some scrolls that you can find randomly in the dungeon. And remember, no matter if you're talking about the symbol skills or the word skills, the farther they are from the start of the Hexen, from the borders, and the harder it is to obtain them, because you need to possess at least one of the skills of the previous level in order to be able to purchase them. You see, it's like a ramification system, you cannot go into the deepest part of it without first having gotten the skills before that one. But anyways, now that we have discussed the easy part, it's time to talk about the hard part, the God's Affinities. You see, those on the right side are actually the symbolized gods. And while you can learn your class skills right from the start of the game, as long as you have the lesser souls, you cannot learn these other skills right at the start of the game, because these skills that are from the gods, in fact all of these symbols correspond to different gods, first need to give you the possibility to learn them. You have to gain the favor of the gods, you have to increase your affinity to them in order to increase them. And remember, the farther a skill is from the border of the Hexen and the higher your affinity needs to be. For example, this skill right here requires just one level of affinity, but this skill on the other hand requires two levels of affinity, and this one, you can imagine it, three levels of affinity. But now you may say, how do you increase affinity with gods? There are different ways dependently from the gods, so let's start from the beginning. This is Grogroth, one of the sides of the coin, as you can see. And to, in order to increase its affinity, you can do various things. First of all, you can, and this applies to all the gods, you can pray into three different ritual circles to that same god, and you will increase the level of affinity by one. Then, specifically for Grogroth, you can do two other things. First of all, you can feast with the wolf masks in the infested part of the mines if you want, and that will give a full level of affinity by itself. And the other thing you can do is, while on a ritual circle, you can sacrifice one of your party members. So you basically kill one of your party members in order to gain one full level of affinity with the Grogroth. And it's important, a lot of characters don't want to be sacrificed. The easiest method you can do is just to take a goal or a skeleton using the skill Necromancy and sacrifice them to gain freely a new level of affinity with Grogroth. Oh, important, after you sacrifice someone, you cannot use that circle to pray anymore. So if you want to pray to a god on that specific circle, but they do it beforehand. Also, I think I should mention, you have the possibility to gain Blood Sacrifice, a skill not present on the Exen, but that you can get from various methods, such as using the Ancient Book or an Empty Scroll, and that lets you sacrifice your own blood, so temporarily reducing your maximum HP, in order to gain freely an ability from Grogroth forever. And this doesn't increase the affinity, and honestly I don't know why I'm even talking about it. After this, there is Sylvian, the goddess of prosperity. While Grogoth is mainly focused on damage skills, Sylvian is more on healing spells. 
And the way you can increase your affinity is of course praying three times on three different ritual circles, then you can make love with the bunny masks in order to gain a full level of affinity, or another thing you can do is at a ritual circle you can make love with one of your party members, they will agree after they spend enough time with you, but the girl and the guard will never agree. Also remember, don't pray to Sylvian in a ritual circle and then make love in that same ritual circle, otherwise... Uh, you see, when you make love, you first become a marriage, then uh, if with the marriage you make love once again, you become an abominable marriage, which has increased attack but cannot get any equipment. And this is fine, right? The problem is, if you try to make love after praying to Sylvian is the, in that circle, then what happens is, the marriage fails, because apparently you have angered the gods. It's not something so clear. I discussed with it on uh, the Discord with the other people, and they didn't even know it existed. I had to ask the game developer itself about how did it function, and even then, it just was a cryptic way to tell me, so I just had to figure it out myself by trial and error. Next up is Olmir. Olmir has only one skill, which is Blood Portal, and it's basically a teleport skill. And how do you increase its affinity? You can pray three times on the ritual circles if you want, but there is a very easy way. If you sacrifice this guy that is present here, and then go into the courtyard and pray to this statue to Olmir, and then you just use one single ritual circle to pray to Olmir, that's it. You have the affinity for Olmir. It's so easy to get it, and the teleporting skill is so useful that I think everyone should get it. And now, let's come to the complicated part. The God of the Depths. So, you cannot pray for him at the Ritual Circles. You cannot do any actions such as sacrificing someone or making love with someone to increase his, his affection, so... How do you do it? And this is where things get very complicated. You see, there is a skill in the game called Mastery Over Insects, which lets you talk to insects. It's one of the starting skills of Anki, possible, and also you can get it through empty scrolls. So why am I mentioning it? If you go in the thicket and follow this exact path, you will end up in the level 4 thicket, where there is, there is gonna be this big cockroach, which is apparently the Cockroach King. He will give you some quests in order to increase the level of affinity with the God of the Depths, which is mainly focused on status effects or something. These missions are kill the butterfly, which is an enemy in the courtyard which wants to become a butterfly, and the second one is kill Enki. Now, first of all, I find it hilarious that Enki can start with Master of Insects, which allows him to make the Cockroach King quests, but cannot complete them because he would have to kill himself, you know? But then there is another problem. The Anki quest is bugged. Or at least partially, let me explain. I tried multiple times to kill Anki for this quest, and then going back to the Cockroach King and he just doesn't realize that I killed him. Then I asked to some people on the Discord and apparently you have to kill Anki while it is in the level 7 basement. And even then, when I did, there were some other problems, because apparently I had two Ankies in my game. One in the basement, that has become an abominable marriage because of its quest, and one still in the library. But what? And then we can add to the mix something else. There is actually a place in which you can pray to the God of the Depths, in the past Mahabre. But why? Why only one place? I spent two hours going around Mahabra and asking on the Discord if there were other places in which you could pray to the God of the Depths, and apparently no one knows about them. What? So if you want to go for the affinity level 2 with the God of the Depths, I would suggest killing Enki in the level 7. Don't kill him in the entrance, or whatever, in the upper parts of the dungeon, because it doesn't work. The Cockroach King doesn't understand he died. Okay, after some time researching the game files, I was able to discover that there is a way to increase the affinity with the God of the Depths, and it's actually cat content. You cannot access it, it's outside of the map. There is no way to get it, and I spent so much time trying to search for it in-game, and I just had to go into the game files. <laughs>